what's up guys, I'm Data for Nox Gaming and welcome back again to my channel. Today I will share to you guys an axe build that will help delete behemoths hopefully under 1 minute average. This build also tackles the weakness of the average revenant build which is being too much of a glass cannon that you are always one hit away from being knocked out. Let's just take a look at the build before we head out to the hunting grounds, I will share the build details with the Dauntless Builder website, so check out the link in the video description down below, I will list it up in detail. So here is the build guys, it's pretty straightforward. Earth Scar with Frost of Bond and Scarn Lantern as our source of shield and Aegis to boost our shield gain. Tough and parasitic to have more HP and reducing the HP cost for Revenant cast so we can cast a lot of Revenants before it hits the limit. Cunning and Galvanized so that we can benefit from the shield gaining critical strike chance and critical strike damage. We can also see Reduce here because here is the catch. Reduce will decrease your attack speed but it will not affect Revenant at all, so Revenant will move at usual speed. The only downside is if you have too much decrease in attack speed, building up determination might be a real problem. That's why I bring Catalyst and use a plus 3 reduce. The maximum amount of shield that you can get with this build is 1200 shield, which is equal to 24% critical strike chance. Combined with Cunning, we get a total of 34% critical strike chance. Not bad really. And you'll see that with this amount of critical strike chance, we will still be able to delete behemoths. Considering that this build is pretty endgame, I suppose you guys will not have a problem using Catalyst at all. But if you guys are beginners though, here is the simpler version of the build, without the Ersko weapon and without the Agoras helmet. But sadly, we still can't remove the Throx body armor. It is one of the best equipment that you guys should get as a beginner, so I really advise to get this armor piece as your top priority. As you can see, all the perks are the same, the only difference lies in the equipment that we use. And if you don't want to use Catalyst, you can simply switch the Catalyst in the Lantern and the Catalyst into, in the weapon into something else like Molten or be used for attack speed or Aether Attunement for Lantern Recharge Rate. This build will also be in the Dauntless Builder website, so check the video description down below for the full details of the build. And if for some reason you have all the legendary equipments, aka being in the endgame, but you don't have enough rams for tonics, which is weird, or you don't like to use Catalyst at all. You can simply switch the weapon here into Urska and the helmet into Agarus like the build I have previously shown by replacing the Catalyst with A3 Attunement just like this one. I personally am not a fan of slow attack speed, hence I brought Catalyst with me. I can also get the Lantern Recharge straight just from the tonics, so I can get the benefit of A3 Attunement and reuse all Molten at the same time. But here is the version without the catalyst. Build will also be in the link below and that's all for the build guys. I will stick with the catalyst build and now let's head out to the hunting grounds and I will do an overleveled run on our favorite area for leveling the Hades Reach. Alright so here we are in the hunting grounds and now we are at level 4 determination because I did a little bit warm up before I start recording in this Hades Reach. So we fight Embermane first here is level 16 and I'm level 10, which is pretty normal. Okay, it just passes through the shield just like that, as always, as always. So we just throw the axe. Easy. The damage is not really that high, but that's not our source of damage. We just need that axe to damage. The only source of damage that we have here is from the Revenant and from the accumulation of the attacks, actually. So let's just keep hitting it. Easy. That's the force gone. I missed. Okay, it's okay, we have lots of shields, so there's nothing to be afraid of here. We can't just die in one hit, as I said, because it just tackles the weakness of a typical Revenant build. We're back to full HP, I missed a Revenant chance there. So it's half HP now, easy. Keep hitting it, it's gonna get staggered soon. There we go. Okay, we're now at full determination again. The next Astro is going to be devastating, but it's going to die soon. Oh, wait, okay, 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 okay. It's too far away from the center. Okay, easy. Now we get. Okay, it should be that soon. There we go. And as you can see, this build deletes behemoth. How long is that? I think it's I think it's one minute. So it still fits our theme of being able to kill behemoth under one minute, hopefully. So now we go to Hellion level 18. So it's pretty should be pretty hard. Okay, but still we have the elemental advantage. We will still be using the A3 attunement, I mean the 
Inner Drive Tonic and the Blitz Tonic only because we simply need the attack speed and the lantern recharge rate. The Frenzy Tonic is not really that needed because we can kill the behemoth without it. Okay, we take the orbs. Easy. Easy. Okay, all fine. There we go. The first stagger. I'll just hit the head so that I can build up the stagger again. I ran out of Tonic. Oh god. Okay. First. He's going to get angry. He's going to get angry and I miss. Urgh. Come on. Okay, we go. Easy. Okay, I did not hit the back leg. Easy. Okay. There's no need to be afraid of getting hit because we have 1.2k shield. Hey, wait, what is that? Okay. Level 18. So as you can see, this will is just deleting behemoths. And for the next battle, I don't think I'm going to fight the Blaze Behemoths anymore because I've been getting too much of a advantage here. So I'll just fight this one, but I'll taking I'll be taking the Frenzy Tonic because it's fair. Okay, easy. This guy's pretty tough, so without ouch, without bringing the Frenzy Tonic, it's going to be taking a lot of time, which is really bad for a build video. Okay, there's a stagger. Let's just get close. There we go. Okay, it's the fourth health, so it should be angry now. Never mind. Now it's going to be angry, right? There we go. We hit and hit and we go back. And we wait for the chance. There we go. Alright, let's see. If, oh, okay. Let's see if we can break apart. And it's broken immediately. All heal is card. Come on, then hit. Okay. Okay. I don't think I can stop this guy from getting in rich, so. We just need to evade on time. There we go. Oh, and throw the axe. There we go. Easy half HP. Okay, this guy is so tough. So usually there will be a stop in the animation. Okay, three hits. Now it's going to hit me, right? Okay, we run away. We run away. Oh, oh, I got hit. That tickles. Oh. Okay, it should be dead soon. There we go. Easy. Level 16, level 10, no elemental advantage, and as you can see, this build still deletes behemoths. And as I have said earlier during the build section, this build will still be able to delete behemoths even with 34% critical strike chance, which is pretty okay for a typical Revenant build because we should be able to get more shield if we use Bastion. But since we use Revenant, 34% seems to be the highest that we can get. Pulse does not increase your critical strike chance, it guarantees your critical strike hit, so this build is really good and I really like it. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.